You said regarding the world and people, yes, what it. was once a concealing power is now a revealing power. Yes, okay. Yes, it, it, it's like when we're, when we're watching a movie, if we're absorbed in the movie, the movie seems to obscure the screen. We always, and, and as a result, the, the movie seems to be real in its own right and we become terrified by it. And then when our attention relaxes, the, the movie loses its capacity to veil the screen. We see the screen and our fear disappears. So it's, it's the same. The, the, the movie is, is uh, what our sense perceptions reveal to us. Sight, sounds, taste, textures and smells. That's the appearance of reality. So reality is one, but it appears to us as many because of our perceiving faculties. Our perceiving faculties refract the unity of being and make it appear as 10,000 things. So what I mean by that is that, uh, to begin with, for most of us, the, the 10,000 things seem to be discrete and independently existing things in their own right. 10,000 different things, separate from one another, distinct from one another. But the more deeply we go into this under, understanding, the more deeply we, we, we understand and feel that um, all those objects share their being. Each of those objects is. Isness is the common factor in all people and things. You can't see isness, but everything is its appearance. So in time, appearances cease losing their capacity to veil being. And we see being shining, so to speak, behind the manifestation, but in and as the manifestation. So uh, from your Sufi studies, you know they the Sufis say, everywhere I look is the face of God, by which they mean the appearance, every, everything I see is an appearance of the one infinite reality. That's what they mean by the face of God, because our face is an appearance. So yes, the more, the more deeply we go into this uh, understanding, we first explore being on the inside, and its nature of peace makes itself known to us. And then the being begins to extend beyond the limitations of each of our bodies and minds. And we recognize it as the being from which everyone and everything derives its existence. And we see everyone and everything as um, living and moving and having its being in that. The face of God. The, the, it, it, everything moves and lives and has its being in God. But everything is an appearance of God's being, yes. Yes. <laughs>